Hi there, this is Teacher Naz, and welcome back to the Nazicist Files. So, in my recent video, I have shared with you on how I have accomplished my LDM2. In this video, I'm gonna show you my RPMS portfolio, and I'm gonna give you the tips kung paano mapapadali yung pag accomplish ng RPMS natin. Are you ready? If yes, let's get the ball rolling. Hello guys, I just want to share with you how I accomplished my RPMS results-based performance and its management system in the school year 2020-2021. So, here is my cover page. Then let's come now on the first CRA, Key Result Area, which is Content, Knowledge, and Pedagogy. For our first objective, we have Applied Knowledge and Content Within and Across Curriculum Teaching Areas. So for our MOV1, Classroom Observation Tool, COT Rating Sheet, or Enter Observer Agreement Form From. So, ano ba yung dapat ilagay nating attachments dito? Number one, an online observation of online synchronous teaching. Number two, if option one is not possible, an observation of a video lesson that is SLM based or milk aligned. So, pag wala kayo nung online observation of online synchronous teaching, so you can use your chosen video lesson in your COT. If wala kayong video lesson, so yung napili nyo ay observation. So, eto yung number 3. If options 1 and 2 are not possible, an observation of a demonstration teaching via LAC. So, yun yung i-attach mo. So, as you can see, I pasted here the screenshots of my video lessons. So, nilagay ko dito lahat, yung dalawa. Yung COT number 1 at COT number 2. So, nakasok-sok dyan. Then, aside from that is my detailed lesson plan in English. Okay. So, napapansin nyo bakit wala dyan yung aking COT rating sheet. So, for the information of everybody. So, advanced lang tong ginawa kong RPMS portfolio. So, under deliberation pa yung result. So, yung gagawin ko, pag ready na yun, isusok-sok ko na lang para hindi na ako mahirapan. Then, let's come now on the objective 2. Ensure positive use of ICT to facilitate the teaching and learning process. So, that is the objective 2. Okay, for our MOV2, any supplementary material in print digital format made by the ready and used in the lesson delivery that highlights the positive use of ICT to facilitate the teaching and learning process. So, paano ba natin ma-prove sa ating attachments yung paggamit natin ng ICT during the teaching and learning process? For number one, we have here the activity sheets, okay? And number two, one lesson from a self-learning module or SLM. So, kahit one lesson lang. Number three, one example of lesson plan. For example, DLP, DLL, WHLP, WLP, WLL lesson exemplars and the likes. And number four, video lessons. Number five, kung wala kang video lessons, audio lesson. Number six, other learning materials in print digital format. Then, you are going to specify and provide annotations. Okay, so nakikita nyo. Andiyan yung activity sheets. Ilagay ko na. Then, examples of my lesson plan, of course. So, nilagay ko dyan. Then, my video lessons, yung screenshots. Okay, so let's come now on the objective number three. 
applied a range of teaching strategies to develop critical and creative thinking, as well as other higher order thinking skills. So here is the MOV3, any supplementary material in print digital format made by the Rati and used in the lesson delivery that highlights teaching strategies to develop critical and creative thinking as well as the other higher order thinking skills. So what are those attachments na maipuprove natin na gumamit tayo ng teaching strategies na mag-develop ng critical at creative thinking ng ating mga sadyante as well as their higher order thinking skills. So number one is the activity sheets, one lesson from a self-learning module, and number three, lesson plan, video lesson, number five, audio lesson, and number six, other learning materials in print digital format. So, kailangan yung specify kung ano yan. For example, newspapers, magazine, and please provide annotations. Okay? So, as you can see, I have provided here an example of their activity sheets as well as my lesson plans. So, andito lahat. So, nilagay ko. Then, of course, the screenshots of my video lessons. Okay, so let's come now on our cron number two, which is diversity of learners and assessment and reporting. For our objective number four, established a learner-centered culture by using teaching strategies that respond to their linguistic, cultural, socio-economic, and religious backgrounds. So that's it for our objective number four. Okay, so let's proceed on the MOV4. Okay, so same lang din. Okay, nung mga attachments for the recent objective number 2 and 3. But here, dapat nag-highlight din ng teaching strategies that are responsive to learners' linguistic. So, pag sinabi nating learners' linguistic, ano ba yung linguistic background ng ating mga estudyante, their language? Then, cultural so, dapat may sensitivity when it comes to their cultural background. And socioeconomic. Pag sinabing socioeconomic, kaya bang ma-afford ng ating mga sadyante yung mga binibigay ba nating performance test? Applicable ba sa kakayahan ng bawat mag-aaral at mga magulang? Or religious background, of course. So, dapat maging sensitive tayo when it comes to the content of our learning activity sheets, lesson plan, or one lesson from a self-learning modules, video lessons, audio lessons, and other learning materials in print digital format. Okay, here are my examples in my MOVs. So first, I have here the sample of activity sheets. As you can see, and I also include here the sample of learners' accomplished activity sheets as well as at my detailed lesson plan in English 9. Okay, so I also indicated here the class house rules. Okay, since it also reflects on the cultural and socio-economic or religious backgrounds of the students. So, kailangan in the first day of class, dapat mag-impose na kayo ng class rules. So, yung question, so, para natin may impose yung class rules? Okay, simply lang. So, we can impose the class rules in our group chats. Okay, another is the screenshots of my video lessons 
Okay, as well as nilagay ko rin dito yung individual learning monitoring plan. Okay, so let's come now on our objective 5, which is plan and deliver the strategies that are responsive to the special educational needs of learners in difficult circumstances, including geographic isolation, chronic illness, displacement due to armed conflict, urban resettlement or disasters, child abuse, and child labor practices. So, what are the MOVs for this objective? We have here, of course, our classroom observation tool, the COT rating sheet or inter-observer agreement form from an online observation of online synchronous teaching. If it's not available, you can use your chosen video lesson that is SLM-based or milk-aligned. If number two is not Possible, you can use an observation of a demonstration teaching via lag. So as you can see, I have attached here the screenshots of my video lessons during my COT. So ayan, nilagay ko lahat dyan, including the lesson plans. And huwag kakalimutan ilagay yung COT rating sheets. So, ilalagay ko palang dito since advanced yung ginawa kong portfolio. Okay, let's come now on objective number 6. Use strategies for providing timely, accurate, and constructive feedback to improve learner performance. We all know how, how important it is to give feedbacks on the performance of our learner for them to know their strengths and weaknesses in a certain area. So what are the MOVs for this? Okay, here the evidence must highlight providing accurate and constructive feedback to improve learner performance and that shows timeless of feedback given to any of the following. Number one, activity sheet. Number two, performance test. Number three, quiz or test. Number four, self-learning modules. As you can see, I have here the summary of the written works and performance tests of my students. So to make it reliable, dapat nakatouch din yung signatures ng kanilang parents or guardian. Then, our next, okay, I have here also a sample of learns accomplished activity sheets. So, nilagay ko lang dito. Okay, as well as the activity sheets. And of course, hindi mawawala yung performance test. So, dapat sa performance test natin, indicated then yung rubrics, the criteria for grading, the project, or performance test. So, yun and then let's come now on the CRA 3, which is curriculum and planning. So for each objective, selected, develop, organize, and use appropriate teaching and learning resources, including ICT, to address learning goals. So what are its MOVs? So first, again, we have here an online observation of online synchronous teaching. Okay, katulad din ng dati. Okay, so in this portfolio, gagamitin natin ng tatlong beses yung ating mga COT sa pag-a-attach. Okay, if one is not available, you can use the option number two, which is the video lesson. Pag hindi naman available yung video lesson, okay, we can... Use our observation of a demonstration teaching via LAC. So, ilalagay nyo lang. Okay, the lesson plans. Okay, and don't forget the COT rating sheet. And let's come now on the objective number 8. Set achievable and appropriate learning outcomes that are aligned with learning competencies. So, what are those achievable and learning activities 
that provides learning outcomes aligned with learning competencies. So, ano, ano yun? Ano, ano yung dapat ilagay? Okay. Here, on MOV8, one lesson plan is needed uh, or one lesson from a self-learning modules prepared by the RATI. So, pipili lang kayo kung sa lesson plan or sa lesson from a self-learning module prepared by the RATI with achievable and appropriate learning outcomes that are aligned with the learning competencies as shown in the following. Okay, number one, lecture or discussion. Number two, activity or activity sheet. Number three, performance task. Number four, rubric for assessing performance using criteria that appropriate describe the target output. Okay, so as you can see, why did I include the milks here? So since ina-ask nila kung ano yung mga learning outcomes that are aligned with the milk. So, nilagay ko na din yung milk. Attach yung lecture and discussion from the activity or activity sheets as well as my lesson plan. Okay, and dyan lahat. Naka-attach na. Laging lesson plan, and dyan na rin. And the performance task, of course, katulad nga nang sinabi ko kanina, hindi, hindi mawawala yung rubrics. Because it will, serve, it will serve as the criteria for grading the project. Okay, let's come now on the CRA number four, which is community linkages and professional engagement and personal growth and professional development. Its objective is to build relationships with parents, guardians, and the wider school community to facilitate involvement in the educative process. Okay, so dito sa CRA number 4, marami-rami dito yung ating ilalagay. Okay, for its MOV number 1, proof of participation in any activity for improved access to education such as but not limited to the following activities. Okay, number one, distribution of learning materials to learners, parents. For example, meron silang hiram na books. So, you will include the receipt form or monitoring form during distribution of learning materials. And number two, second is Brigade Escuela. Commitment form to stakeholders develop advocacy materials, certificate of participation that involves parents, stakeholders, engagement signed with a school head. Then, home visitation. And others, you're going to specify then give annotations. Number two, parent-teacher log or proof of other stakeholders meeting. For example, one-on-one -on -one parent-teacher learner conference log attendance sheet with minutes of online or face-to-face -face meeting, proof of involvement in the learner's parents' orientation. Okay, number three, any form of communications Two, parents and stakeholders. For example, notice of meetings, screenshots of chat, message communication with parent and guardian. Okay, so lahat yun. So as you can see, sinali ko dito yung pagkandak namin ng reading assessment. Since we have here communication to the stakeholders. So before kami magkandak ng reading assessment, we made sure that we followed the protocols as well as yung pagbibigay ng letter. So, as you can see, we have here the list of students do undergo remediation on English reading. So, before conducting the reading assessment, dapat meron na kayong identified learners. Sino-sino ba yun para hindi na mahirapan. Then, the next attachment would be a ACR, Activity Completion Report during the Portfolio Day. Then, i-attach nyo lang yung Pictures, okay, nasa likod. Yung pictures, okay. After that, I have here also the screenshots, okay, communications to the stakeholders or parents. So, dito, kung kanina may target learners tayo for reading assessment, of course, we also have here the list of identified parents or guardians of students who will undergo home visitation and in intervention. Okay. So, ito yung parent ng 
estudyante as well as the name of student. So, before tayo mag-conduct ng home visitation, of course, dapat meron tayong ganyan. May list na. Then, hindi mo wawala yung communication to the parents. Okay? Hindi basa-basa na pupunta ka na doon for home visit. So, dapat, okay, ini-inform mo sila bago kayo pumunta. Okay, yan yung example. Then, here, I have here the attendance or log sheet during the distribution and retrieval. So, ayan dyan, yung mga signatures. As well as the process kung paano namin kinandak yung distribution and retrieval. Okay, well, let's come now on the objective number 10, which is participated in professional networks to share knowledge and to enhance practice. For its objective, we have here the certificate of completion in a course training. So, maglalagay lang kayo dyan yung certificate. Certificate of participation in a webinar, retooling, upskilling, and other training seminar workshop with proof of implementation. Number three, certificate of recognition. Okay, or speakerships in a webinar, retooling, upskilling, and other training seminar workshop. Then, any proof of participation to a benchmarking activity. Then, number five, any proof of participation in the school lag sessions, it may online or face-to-face, -face, certified by the lag coordinator. If others, please specify and provide annotations. Sa so, ganyan ang kadali. So, dyan yung aking certificates. So, nalagay ko lang dyan lahat. Now, let's go now on the objective 11, which is develop a personal improvement plan based on reflection of one's practice and ongoing professional learning. So, ano-ano yung mga MOVs dito sa objective 11? <laughs> okay. Our main MOV here is our individual performance and commitment review form development plan. So, yung individual development plan talaga yung main MOV natin. So, paano ba tayo, oh, paano ba tayo, May, paano ba natin maipoprove yung ating individual development plan? So, paano ba natin maipapakita through our supporting MOVs? Okay, any document aligned with the episode of DP such as reflection to one's practice during lack. So, maglalagay kayo ng reflections while ongoing yung lack nyo dati. So, it is important na mag-take note kayo, maglagay kayo ng reflections. The number two, reflection or personal notes on coaching and mentoring and or media review. Okay, number three, personal notes, journal on divisions, school, and set with proof of attendance. Number four, certificate of enrollment registration form, class card in a graduate or postgraduate school online courses. And number five, and the learning material highlighting the improvement done based on accomplished reflection. So, ganyan lang kadali. So, the main talaga, the main MOV here is the individual development plan. So, what are those MOVs? Okay, nilagay ko dito yung mentoring namin with my fellow teachers. Then, kasama nito is my reflection. Naka-attach na dyan. Then, of course, certificates. Then, dito, I have here, I have chosen here the school-based and service training for teachers. So, naka-attach dito yung aking reflection. So, ano ba yung natutunan ko in the upskilling of digital skills? Okay. So, dito ko nilagay. And, eto yung naging result or outcomes. Pinaka-improvement ko based doon sa reflection na ginawa ko. So, malapit ang matayang matapos. Which is the plus factor. So, dito guys. So, at least kailangan nyo lang ma-accomplish yung MOV number 12. Number 1, proof of commitment involvement. So, ano ba yan? Yung mga committees na sinalihan nyo. And number 2, advisorship of co-curricular activities. For example, okay, yung students nyo sumali sa competition online at nanalo. So, as an advisor, so, pwede niyong ilagay, indicate yung certificate na nakuha ng yung student. And then, number three, involvement as modular learning material writer. So, if you have participated during trainings on modular learning material writer as a writer, so ilalagay niyo dyan. 
Then, involvement as module or learning material validator. So, ilalagay nyo din yan if you have part of that training. And number four, participation in the RO, SDO, school initiated TV and region based instruction. And then, next is book or journal authorship or contributorship. So, so if naging author ka ng isang book or journal or even a contributor, so you can attach the book, a photocopy of the book. Dapat naka-indicate yung pangalan mo doon. Then, coordinatorship or chairperson Chair personship. <laughs> Sorry. And next is coaching and mentoring learners in competitions. So if naging coach ka or nagmentor ka ng sejante during competitions, your certificates will be attached here. Then mentoring preserves teachers. So kung naging Mentor ka ng mga pre-service teachers. Okay. So, di ba? May mga student teachers. During student teaching tayo. Okay. You can also attach your certification in the crown number 5. And participation in demonstration teaching. So, ano ba yung pag-participate mo during the demonstration teaching? So, for example, naging observer ka during the demonstration teaching. So, kasali ka sa mga na grade. So, also, mailalagay mo sa crown number 5. And participation as research presenter in a forum, conference, others, please specify and provide annotations. So, yun lang. So, at least three I'm always here in the crown number five. Okay. Aside from that, okay, so yung special order of merong special task na pinagawa sa'yo, yung school, out of your responsibilities as a classroom advisor or teacher, so you can also indicate your certification or special order in the crown number five. Okay, so at least magkaroon ka ng three participation, certificate of participation, recognition, and others which are mentioned here in the MOV number 5. So guys, ganun lang kadali yung ating RPMS. Yung hindi madali is yung pag-provide ng attachments. Okay, so dapat... Start pa lang ng day one in the school year 2020-2021. Dapat tinago na natin lahat ng pwedeng maging MOVs natin dito sa RPMS. So, thank you for watching the video. I hope you have learned a lot from me in accomplishing our RPMS portfolio in the school year 2020-2021. So that's it guys. Ganyan lang kadali. Thank you for watching.